Hey there guys, Quaddy Afro here, bringing you another OMC2 Let's Play video. We are back on Cotterell. You guys uh, demanded that I do a return journey of this map, even though there's only one line on it, but you guys really wanted me to do it in the Gemini 2 uh, double-decker bus, and uh, why not? Let's just do it. Let's wrap up this map with another bus, and then hopefully then when like buses of the West Country 2 comes out, and then more of Cotterell comes out, and until they join together, then I'll be like doing some more content on that once they you know get more content um, added to this kind of map and this kind of project. But I'm back on Cotterell. As you remember, this is the kind of university line uh, where uh, the, it goes, uh, there's a bus service U18, which is the only line available currently for Cotterell. It's kind of like a beta map um, from uh, the University of Cotterell to the main bus station and bus station to the University of Cotterell. Uh, in, as you can see, I have a lovely pink bus, which is the uh, fictional Uno reskin uh, uh, bus. I didn't want to go with the kind of plain white and purple pink kind of first. I thought, let's do Uno, because Uno is a kind of like that university kind of bus company or whatever. So I thought it'd tie in nicely to the to the U18 uh, Cotterell line. That bus there behind is waiting for me to go, but I don't really care. Uh, it looks really nice in pink, actually, I have to say. I don't know why. It just looks kind of really, really striking. I, I really do like it. But before we get into the video, the shout-outs go to Jack uh, Donegan, Donegan and uh, Tristan Veal. That's, again, Jack Donegan and Tristan Veal. Their links and stuff will be down below. Please show them some love. Those were the uh, shout-outs. Right, let's get into this video. Uh, there's nothing really much have to, uh, I have to do left. I, all I have to do is put the, uh, the the destination thing, which if I put bus station and do that, even though U18 won't show up for some strange reason. Let me just check if it'll do it again. There we go, U18. Perfect, that is all set up there. Uh, I do believe the electric should be on. Uh, let me just try. Yep, the electric's on. I can turn on the engine. There we go. And if I turn on quickly the lights. There we go, that's all good. Turn on the low beam lights, because you know I like my low beam lights. And it also turns on the kind of outside kind of lights, which is really, really cool. I don't think there's anyone uh, waiting. Actually, there actually might be. I actually have to turn around and actually wait there, uh, get, pick up a passenger there, I guess, apparently. My schedule, if I turn around and actually have a look, is for 10.42, and I do believe the time right now is, let's have a look down there, 10.35. So if we just speed this up a little bit to like about uh, 41, because we're pretty much leaving straight away. Uh, get back that U18. I don't know, the U18 just seems to disappear. I don't know why. What's the reason for that? But yeah, don't know. Uh, that should be all good. I like how actually Uno shows on the ticket thing. That's actually pretty cool. You can also notice that the body of the bus is grey compared to blue for the previous Gemini's, like the Young London versions that I've driven, which is pretty cool as well. There's also like coach versions that you can get with like bigger, uh, nicer seats and whatever. Anyway, uh, let's... Uh get into, no, not into reverse, into drive. And let's, uh, let's get, uh, let's get driving. Guessing these people, oh wow, quite a lot of people actually. Let me just get this turn sort of done decently. There we go. Uh, Welcome board guys. Hello, hello. Perfect. Good start. That's quite a lot of passengers actually for a kind of start journey. All the university students wanted to go maybe grab a coffee in town or something like that, maybe. And there's a bit of traffic coming out of the university. Don't know what that's for. Maybe the actual car park or something like that, probably. Nice. Fantastic in my pink bus. Right, let's get those doors and let's let's get going. Oh, 
let us go. Yeah, I'm guessing that is coming from yeah, the other university car park. That's why there's a bit of traffic there. But everyone wanted me to drive in the Gemini 2. Like, the Gemini 2 is like such a popular bus with you guys. What the hell are you doing? Okay, fine. I'll reverse. Because, like, <laughs> am I in the wrong there? Like, I don't know. Come on, guys. Let's keep. Let's 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 move. Oh my God! Are you serious? I'm gonna abide by the law. There's students around here. Oh my God! Anyone else? No. Good. We can continue. <laughs> right down the nice descent, we go down to the kind of main road to take us back into the. Uh, city of Cotterell, which again, this kind of this map is based in, uh, well, based off uh, uh, the kind of city of Bath slash Bristol. Don't even have to add that much power actually going down here. I can just let it roll. Very nice. It's good to be back on the left-hand drive map. One thing I'm really looking forward to soon, as uh, it's near, sort of nearish to release of it, uh, is the OMSI London add-on, which I can poke through there. I don't know. There we go. I think we should be fine. The OMSI London add-on, which is like the South London project now, just named OMSI London. Um, I'm really looking forward to when we can, when I can get a play around with that, and because uh, I'm part of the beta test squad. Because that looks amazing. Uh, Reese has been doing such a good job on that, and uh, it's just I can't wait till its release is uh, is it, it's upon us. I think I think it's in about maybe six 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 weeks. I think. I don't know when I'm posting this video, but it's somewhere in around maybe end of May, beginning of June. I do believe. Oh God, my indicating skills. Like the stuff in there, like the new Route Master looks good, the Enviro 400 looks good, they're obviously going to be able to utilise this Gemini 2, the London mod version. Uh, you'll also be able, uh, he's also making, I do believe, a uh, uh, a Mercedes Sitaro, which I think will be the first uh, like left hand drive uh, Sitaro for, for Omsi. I don't believe there's one currently available for the game, which is pretty cool. And uh, he might somewhere further down the road do an uh, Enviro 200 as well, which was his original idea, but then he scrapped that for the uh, left-hand drive Sitaro. But I do believe he said he's still it's still an idea that he will still might do in the future, the Enviro 200, which is something... Like, we already have our Enviro 200, but it's, it's the, uh, the Hong Kong kind of version, which I'm not, I don't really, really like, to be honest. Alright, yeah, mate. Morning, driver. Cup soup just got a bit better. Hip hip puree. <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. That's pretty catchy, I'm not gonna lie. Right. I do like the Zuno delivery, though. Very nice. I wonder what company Uno is actually uh, owned by. Oh god. Are they owned by like a Reva or something or First? Or are they just literally their own kind of company by themselves? 
Hello, is it me you're looking for? Hello, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another U18. And why are you stupidly curving towards my side? Oh, God. I'm gonna have to go in the curb because this driver obviously didn't pass his uh, bus driver test. Now I'm the one there that had to compromise annoyingly. Good, let's continue. Very nice. Still no one wanting to get off yet. It's a pretty full bus so far. If I look at my camera and my uh, my mirror, it's still pretty full bus. One thing I've noticed with the Gemini 2, it has this kind of FPS issue where it kind of stutters and then slows down, speeds up, slows down, speeds up. And that's just something I've noticed with this bus. Uh, I don't, it's not the map, it's definitely the vehicle. Something with this bus just uh, isn't stable fully yet, I don't believe. And it's with every single version of the Gemini 2. I mean, the Gemini 1's fine. But this, the Gemini 2 just always had this problem, for me, at least. Right. Get him into the heart of the city now. I've been to Bristol now, actually, quite, some t uh, quite many times, actually, because of my sister. Such a nice city. And the English voices are back to uh, terrorize me, saying, Nope, you're not doing a good job. You know, I thought that time was good. And people are crossing the road even though there's a red man, which is very British. Very nice. Are you guys, honestly, like, I remember the first video of this uh, map that I did in the uh, Right Eclipse. Uh, BTL7, I think. You guys went mad for that video. I, like, I didn't know this was going to be so popular. But you guys wanted a second video, so I thought, hey, let's do a second video of an, in another bus while Morning. the actual bus for this map. Morning. And no one is getting off. This is it's just like everyone's just essentially got on to get off at the, the last stop, to be honest. But you know now where we are. Near the end. And again, the traffic lights love to troll me. Be an interesting time, and I make it. I only allowed 20 down here. Actually, to be honest, in most places around Bristol, you are pretty much... Bristol is, like, has one of the worst traffic problems I've actually ever seen in a city. It's ridiculous. Like, having a car in Bristol is probably one of the worst things. Does anyone want to get off yet? No? Okay. But yeah, having a car in Bristol, just I don't even think about it. That's an interesting camera. Surprised no one's uh oh god, whoa, that's freaky. Surprised no one's uh buzzed the bell yet because it is 
it is pretty much the last stop now coming up. There's one more and then there's another last stop to be honest. So just two, just two. They have, the people still have their time. Oh my god, this this traffic light there. Right. Right, and yeah, that was a really late call there on the uh, the on the bell. And pretty much most people are getting off. Well, it is it is the railway station. I'm guessing this is like Bath Station or like Bristol Temple Me as well. It's more Bath to be honest. Oh yeah, that's definitely more Bath. Like Bath just has pretty much a free station, while Bristol Temple Me has like a big, huge terminus station. Right. And then the last stop is like literally less than 100 meters away. <laughs> and everyone's getting off. Come on. And we are back at the main bus station. Well, that's where you'd come out. Very nice. Very nice. And we did actually everything okay, which is good to know. I'm very, very happy with that. Very nice. Good stuff. Well, I hope you guys enjoy that. That was my uh, second take on uh, the map Cotterell, as you guys heavily requested me to do a return journey in the Gemini, Volvo Gemini uh, 2, which I did. I did it in this really funky pink Uno uh, reskin. And I enjoyed it. It was great to be back on this uh, map doing something again, left hand drive. Uh, as I said, more things to enjoy is, uh, as the OMC London add-on is going to be coming soon. Uh, Busters of the West Country 2 is in development and Cotterell as well is in development. So there's quite a lot in terms of left-hand maps uh, at the moment. So uh, it's 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 going to be really exciting like few months for like left-hand drive kind of maps. Again, the links and stuff for this map will be down below. Uh, other than that, the shouts go to uh, Jack uh, uh, Donegan and Tristan Veal. That's again Jack Donegan and Tristan Veal. Uh, their links and stuff will be down below. Show them some love. Those were the shouts. I co uh, guys, hope you uh, enjoy this little short journey back from Cotterell as you guys requested it. Uh, I hope to see you guys in another C2 video. Oh, and by the way, if you again want to help with transcribing the video, this video or any other video, uh, link down below uh, to invite you to uh, join and uh, transcribe the video, add subtitles to it for people, for international fans, and for people with uh, hearing impairments and stuff like that. And also check out the uh, vlog channel if you're interested in uh, subscribing to my second channel, which is like more kind of has some kind of vlogs and stuff in here. Anyway, uh, enough of me blabbing around. I'll let you guys enjoy your day, the rest of your day, and uh, I'll see you in another Opsy 2 video or in another video itself. So, you guys, take care. We ain't